everyone. Alright, so I did say that I will be doing some more list videos and I just thought I need to stick with that. Alright, so in this one today we're going to be talking, taking a look at my top 6 best Crash Bandicoot bosses. So, yeah. Starting off with number 6, Dr. Cortex and Mecha Bandicoot, well, controlled by Engine in Crash 2017. Now I know what you're thinking, oh hey, why do you have to do that number, number 1? Well, I'm actually, to be honest, most bosses are fantastic and most bosses are not. But these memories come from my late, early days being a child. So, cool music in the background, first you get to fight Dr. Cortex, and then Mac Mecha Bandicoot. Like, the machine, and the design, and how it all went out, was just amazing. And also the glitch of this level. One of the things I did do is that, instead of like hitting the green uh, light, for it to go back and hit Dr. Cortex, you can actually jump on it and then you can actually go on the upper levels when Mega Band comes, which is just fantastic. Number 5, Dingle Dial from Crash Bandicoot 3, Twin Sanity and Insane. Now first, Crash Bandicoot 3 and Insanity is exactly the same. So in that case, I'm not cheating. But I'm kind of cheating when I put Twin Sanity in there. But yeah, again, if they have like the same they have some sort of the same thing together, and I don't think it is. So, let's start off with Crash 3 and, and Insane. Virtually the same, but in Crash 3, the voiceover throwing is fantastic, the music is great, um, and also the little glitch where you get to jump up and hit him makes it all easy. But remember, you must com you must co complete the Dingle Dial boss to actually get this thing in because that's how you get the um, that move to do that glitch and that's also the same with insane tricity because in that one um, you get to um, do exactly the same and also the music's fantastic and also somehow the voice is like louder which is great and then with twin sanity whew, whole new thing Right, at first you think Dr. Cortex would be helping you, but then he gets flown off somewhere, he does. So instead it's just you and the music, the noise, it's just fantastic. And I I used to have this game, but then we got rid of the PlayStation 2 to get the PlayStation 3. But I do remember it, and I do watch gameplay videos of it, and it's just fantastic it is. The voiceovers are fantastic, the music's great, the levels are fantastic and we go from ice to fire. Number four, uh, Crunch and also the element um, who does the um, all air thing from Crash from Crash 4, the Wrath of Cortex. Now hopefully I'll find the proper name for that when I put it in but not many people would agree to me that many of the bosses are good but this could be one of the exceptions as of, to be honest, I feel like most of the bosses in Crash 4 are okay. Apart from the first one, that one can go and shove it. Um, but in this one, it's basically hit, 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 shoot, hit, shoot, hit, shoot. And that's basically it, that's all I can really say. Number 3, Entrophy from Crash uh, 3, Insane and Twin Sanity. That into insanity you've got embryo with you as well. Let's start out with Crash 3. Okay, Crash 3. The voiceover is good because it's like he's shouting at you. And also, um, you have to dodge stuff, but then when it gets to insane, the music sounds better and the voiceover sounds better. And then when you get to insanity, um, it's a different approach to it. and. Embryo looks better and also Entrophy looks better as well. It's kind of like a two box on one 
it is, which we haven't really seen before, and I think this is fantastic. Don't mistake me, I like Embryo, but in the original Crash games, I never got to play that boss battle, but hopefully now I'll be able to. Number two, Engine from Crash 2, Crash 3, and NC. Now, why did I didn't say any of his other ones, maybe from Trinsanity, or I don't know, from um, Crash of the Titans as well. It's good, but I feel like these are better. In Crash 2 and uh, the insane Crash 2, you get to, um, to hit him, you have to fire apples from yourself, but it got the feeling Crash Insane that he basically throws them at He does. And as you know, the graphics got better, but then the graphics got really better with Insane um, improving the Crash 3. Um, engine boss which got better like I didn't really notice these things because the the moon the earth looks really good it does you can tell how much work has gone into the Ensen game and it's just amazing the voiceovers are amazing and the music is amazing and outside from number one the Evil Twins from Crash Trinsanity. The reason why I'm naming this number one is because first you get to play as Nina Cortex, and then Dr. Cortex, and then Crash in the Mecha Bandicoot suit that we saw right at the start with Dr. Cortex and Mecha Bandicoot. You defeat them, and of course some people will say it's an easy boss fight, but it's one of the fun bosses fights that we probably ever got and hopefully one day they will be master Crash Trinsanity and Spyro himself so we can play these games and maybe even the deleted levels one day. So I hope you enjoyed this list based video there will be more coming up but let me know what you think I should list in in the description. I'm trying not to use the word my so I won't use that next time um, so yeah Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you really have enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for 44 subscribers and I will see you all on the next one. Peace and make sure to buy Crash Bandicoot and say now.